Good evening. Welcome to another exciting edition of Sewing a Bourbon. I'm Glenn. This is Charlie. Charlie, why don't you tell them what is on the bar tonight? Tonight, we have an exciting offering from Angel's Envy. It is their Bottled in Bond. All right, so Angel's Envy, Bottled in Bond. Tell, Charlie, there's something special about this bottle. Why don't you let them know what that is? This is bottled in bond. It is also the first Angel's Envy that is not finished. Yes, so that's a big, big step out of their ordinary process, right? I mean, well, that's what Angel's Envy is known for, is it, port it, finished bourbons. and It is, yeah. and Lincoln Henderson, the founder of Angel's Envy, said it's not finished until it's finished. finished. So, you know, Lincoln has passed on, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately and his um, son and grandsons have also exited the company recently. Um, so now we have a new master distiller, Mr. Owen Martin, and we have a nearly six-year-old according to their website, bottled and bond, unfinished, but wait. Are you gonna tell me it's barrel strength? It's cask strength at 100 proof. So there is no water added to this. So- Some planning went into that, some right? Some planning went into that. And if you're watching this and you're saying, that don't make no sense. How you do that? Magic. Lower, lower barrel entry proof. This is what they're telling people in the distillery gift shop where I was at, which is the only place you can get this particular bottle. Um, How much was that bottle? This bottle, this is a 375. So I know I'm a big person, but uh, this is not a normal, it's a 375. It was $58 after tax. Okay. So, so it kind of in line with the old Forrester 117 series prices. Yeah, it, and, you yeah. know, if it was a big bottle, it'd be a hundred bucks. Yeah. And I think on a special release, that's what it is. And you know, I kind of like the little 375s. Honestly, I do too. For a special release, yeah. you got you get twice as many people yep. who, who can get their hands on it. Right. And there was no limit on this. I could have yeah. bought up to 12. I didn't. Except, tell them, Charlie, did you buy me a bottle? I bought one for Glenn. I'm going to I'm going to give Glenn mine and then I'll <laughs> no, begin not. the arduous journey back <laughs> across the bridge to get another one cuz he didn't get one. I got to go to Bruzel's house and hang out and go to Peerless, <laughs> oh, but I didn't get no, it. Now get a bottle. I know why. I didn't get it a... wasn't, I forgot to get you a bottle, but not my other four friends. It was, now I know why. Okay, I get it, Charlie. I get it. I didn't get I'll see to go to Peerless. <laughs> <laughs> let's get to nosing. Let's get to nosing. Actually, let's, let's, let's look at the color first. Color here. Uh, nice copper color. Yeah, like kind of an amber. Let's see if you can see that. Boy, I, it's viscous. Yeah, it <laughs> like sure it, is. It doesn't want to move around too really much. Really, really coats the glass. I mean, crazy. I think, is that cork in my glass, Charlie? I hope so. I don't know. You want a little paper towel? Use your I'll finger stick and get my it finger in there. there. You know, yeah, I, know I have no doing. issues yeah. with sticking my fingers Who in. knows? Well, that didn't sound right. You'll understand after you watch today's episode. Yeah, we'll edit that out, but... Really nice, nice color, great legs. I don't know if you can see the kind of oiliness on that, but should we nose? Yes, let's nose. Let's nose. Ooh. That's got a beautiful nose. A um, little bit of that, that, uh, that, so Angel's Envy always kind of comes with a mustiness to me. Yeah, and that's. Which I'm. Finished, uh, it's right? interesting that it's to me there's still a little bit of that mustiness I, there so maybe it there's definitely a psychological a there has to be a psychological aspect because you know you're drinking angels envy if you drink a lot of angels envy you, you associate that port wine finished with with the bottle it is <laughs> i think i just well, i don't know what i haven't even drank right it we haven't had first episode <laughs> of the day um it has a really beautiful floral nose on it like and it's got it's got that cola note yeah too, which i don't think you like a sweet get on the angels like a like a sweet almost like an rc cola yeah if you've ever had an rc cola and and it's floral i get some i get some almost cut grass on it too like that nice cut grass hmm. smell 
All right, I'm, I'm kind of excited. Now, their website says sure. this is nearly six years old. So let's see okay. how she does. First of all, that's got a super velvety mouthfeel. Really does. <laughs> Almost like a chocolate mousse or something in your mouth. It's got um, a really chocolatey note to it, hence the chocolate mousse. Um, what do you What are you picking up on your first impressions? You, I mean, you you hit the nail on the head. Really great mouthfeel. It it is very chocolatey on the front, and then it transitions. For me, I get a little bit of spice on the very tip of my tongue and the back of my tongue. And then I get this like almost, almost like biting into a chocolate filled, you know, one of those Russell Stovers that has the cherry in it yeah. and you bite into that and you get the dark chocolate. And then at the end you get the cherry and I don't get cherry note a lot, but I get this stone fruit or pitted fruit, mm -hmm. like a cherry or something on the back of my tongue. And it just, it was the craziest thing. It like washed over the back of my tongue and then disappeared. And I was like, where'd that go? Yeah. You, and, you hit the nail right on the head because as you were, as you were starting to talk, all of a sudden I got that cherry note. And like you said, I don't, you usually don't pick up on that cherry note, but yeah, it's, it's definitely there. On my third drink, and I don't know if it's the mental thing, I get that big fruit cherry right on my tongue. Like as soon as I drink it, the chocolate kind of dissipates. There is a, hmm. like let's talk finish, um, long, lingering, oaky, smoky, pipe tobacco, like almost like a cigar finish. Like when, when you just are left with that, that smoky flavor, I, I really like it's this It's a bottle. great finish. <laughs> it's, no, it's not when you say cigar, like it's not, it's a delicate yes. finish. You know what I mean? Yes. And it's like perfect. Yeah. It's not overwhelming. There's just enough oak on it. Oak and smoke. Man. And it lingers and it just sort of kind of tickles your tongue and, and coats your whole mouth. Like it's a, it's a little bit of a drinking experience here. I wasn't quite expecting that. I wasn't either. That's a, I really like that. That's so, really good. I hope they, I hope this isn't a one-time thing. To my knowledge, and, and let's read the bottle. There's a first for everything, introducing our inaugural unfinished release, a unique marriage of legacy and modern, modern, modernity, modernity. modernity that echoes our relentless pursuit of progress through a lower barrel entry proof and meticulous blending. This Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey combines the historic bottled and pond Reading distinction with the contemporary boldness of cast strength artfully bottled at 100 proof i can read it's just in reflective writing and in the right. shadow i can't kind of see it i don't know if this is this is a distillery only release i don't know if this is going to be an everyday but if this is a sampling of what angels envy has maybe planned in the future for unfinished i feel like so there's a lot of Angels Envy haters out there, right? Oh my gosh! Because yes. of the finish. Oh my gosh! I feel like no more, buddy. The, it, 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 you get to try this, and all of a sudden you're going to be a fan, in my opinion. Yeah, and and if you haven't had Angels Envy, I, I like Angels Envy. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, the rum finished is is like a cocktail in a glass. I really enjoy the um, cast strength releases. Their single barrel barrel proof releases have been very good. This is really good. I can't get over that mouthfeel. That mouthfeel and then the, and I, I think I started with that chocolate mousse, but as soon as you said the, the chocolate mm -hmm. candies, there's also not just the chocolate covered cherry, although that is there, but there's also a chocolate candy that's just got a really, it's filled with chocolate, yep. just like a really smooth, like, yeah, like nougat. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, that's um, that's really good. This is interesting because when this was released and when they said that this was coming, this kind of broke. I think coming bourbon or coming whiskey on Instagram did it 
first yeah. and released and said, hey, this is coming. And everybody lost their mind. How's that possible? That doesn't make any sense. And I think the Hendersons actually got on there and was like, it, it's a thing, relax, <laughs> this is what we did. Um, I, I think this is really cool because it is cast strength. And I think it's unique to have a hundred proof bourbon that is cast strength, but also bottled in bond that's over four years old. They say nearly six years old. If you can get your hands on this one, you should, yes. because it is very good. All right, Charlie, write it. I will give that a solid seven. Charlie, I'm going to go higher. I'm going to give that. Um, I'm going to give it a, a little lower score just because we don't know what the availability is going to be. So I'm going to have to treat it like it's only a special release and you're only going to be able to get it once a year. I don't know if that's the case, but that's the way I'm going to write it. Weird. Rating. I'm going to get it a 7.8. Otherwise, it would be a solid 7.8. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. I um, love it. We're going to have some fun with this one. I, I really want to, this is bottled in bond. It's a hundred proof. It checks all the boxes. It's a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. We're going to do some blinds with some bottled in bonds and see what happens with this because I, this one's pretty unique and, and I really enjoy it. So kudos to Angel's Envy. Uh, kudos to Owen Martin. Is it, It's Owen Martin, right? Oh man, I just said it. Now I'm yeah. Owen Martin. I was right. Didn't and even kudos have to check. Kudos to you for watching. Yeah. Thanks for watching. You know what you should do? You should follow us on our socials. You should, and you should also buy some merch. I mean, we're sporting some some of our merch here. Charlie's got the Make Bourbon Affordable Again shirt on. Gotta do as it. As you can see. Make it affordable. I'm sporting our awesome hat. I think that's my favorite it's a great piece hat. of merch that we have. Well, uh, I like the hat, but my cranium's giant. I still like the hat. It still looks good. Our black <laughs> shirt. a cowboy hat for you, our, Charlie. We'll do so a cowboy in a bourbon hat. cowboy so hat. So in a bourbon cowboy hat, one to one. Um, and a sombrero. I'll model the sombrero. Link in description and on all our stuff. Make sure you follow us on our socials. Instagram, so in the bourbon. Facebook, so in the bourbon. And Glenn on TikTok. Whiskey Realtor. That's right. And as always, keep those wallets loose. And your bungholes tight. Good night, everybody. Peace out. Angels and me. It's gonna be nice. Calls JT, who isn't uh, James Taylor. Deserves to be arrested. You know who loves James Taylor? Me. Men of a certain age. We rolling. Uh, 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 Don't uh, make that noise. Alive. It's really weird. Stay alive. Yeah. A lot of people say it. No, we do the intro, then I open it. Oh, is that what we do? <laughs> Prick. <laughs> Angels, three. Two.